So in this little movie clip, I'm going to show you how to save your data. So let me just uh, select the accelerometer. I'm already running over here. Let me say record. And let me just move this thing around a little bit. Oops, there we go, record. So I'll move it in the plus x, minus x, plus y, minus y, plus z, minus z. So we get some data over here on the screen. Here we go with the data. Um, suppose I want to analyze this offline. Suppose I want to put it in Excel, let's say. All I have to do is click this little uh, upload uh, character down here. And it writes this to a comma separated variable file with this funny name. Uh, that contains uh, the date and the time and so forth and the fact that you're looking at the accelerometer. Um, these data are put in the documents folder and this works the same on both the Mac and the PC. So if I go to documents uh, on either computer I'll see a folder that's just called IOLAB work files. In this folder there are some subfolders. Uh, export is the name of that one and so you can see the file that I just created a few seconds ago, here it is right here. And you can open this up if you want uh, in Excel and you can look at both the raw data, these are ADC counts for the X, Y, and Z axes, and the calibrated data, these are the same as the data that are displayed on the, on the plot in the application itself. So that's how you export data. Now, the system saves all the data that you ever collect um, and you can get back to something you did, let's say, yesterday, just by clicking on this little folder up here. There we go. And now you can see all the data that you've taken before. So just by picking one of these, for example, there we go, I can see something I did a while ago uh, using the acceler accelerometer and the force probe and so on. So you can always go back, and this is nice too, because you can just analyze the data any way you want, just for the second time. It's just like you had just accumulated the data. You have the same tools at your disposal, so you can do an analysis or anything you want. So that's if you click on the little folder. In a different video, I'll show you an option we have now for storing your data in the cloud.